All right, so this is my Oxy-5 from Lynx Heli Innovations. Uh, I got it set up as a 550. So I'm running 553 millimeter blades, I think, main blades, and uh, I think I'm running rail 96s on the, on the, on the back. Uh, I got it set up a 6S, running a 12 tooth pinion, 2300 on the head speed. Um, 2300? 2300. Okay. The, um, the, the design of the helicopter is really nice. I haven't, this is like a, I just built this kit in January and haven't built the kit in a long time. Um, and uh, these new designs are, are just, uh, are really neat. Uh, they go to, they go together great, especially this, this links goes together great. The, um, there's a very low parts count. It's a very solid heli, uh, easy to put together. Luca did a really good job designing it. You can fly like a million miles an hour. Yeah, you can fly it really fast. Uh, it um, handles really well. That's one of the things that I really love about it. The head, the head design, the handling, uh, it's very locked in, very stable. You can fly it really fast, like Bill was saying. The, it's very light too. Okay, so it's a newer design. Very light. I have a five, an older 550. It's much heavier. Uh, not that it doesn't fly well, but it's just heavier. This is very light with the 6S pack. I get about three, three and a half minutes, maybe four minutes. Yeah. And how much pitch you got? Just 12 degrees, plus and minus 12 degrees. Nice. You don't need a whole lot. Don't need a whole lot. 2300 on the head, 12 degrees pitch is plenty. There we go. Now you can run it faster <laughs> and kill your battery. <laughs> less, well, not kill, but you know, you'd have less flight time, but. Uh, but it, it, it suits my flying style. Um, some of the things that are really cool about it, the, the tail boom is square, all right? So you don't have to worry about twisting it when you put it in. Like a lot of times you have to line up the, and it's, I know this is minor, but it's something that I've always had like on every heli, um, you know, this, the round boom. But the square boom is great because you put it in and your tail's straight, you don't have to worry about aligning it. That's, it's no big deal, but it's just something you have to fiddle with. Yeah. Um, the, uh, it's belt driven. Belts are great. I like torque tubes too. Uh, the great thing about the belt is it's really simple. And Lucas got this little plastic piece in here and it's kind of like, he's guy's a genius. It's such a simple thing, but what it does is it, it, it keeps your, once you put your tail belt in and you twist it, right? Cause you got to twist mm -hmm. it cause it's vertical here and horizontal here. You got to twist it. Well, you, once you put that plastic piece in, it keeps it in that position. So you don't have to fiddle with it. You don't have to worry about it when you put it, when you actually go mm -hmm. to put it, it, on, into the, onto the mainframe if, yeah. if it's oriented correctly. Um, again, it's not like rocket science, but it's just so simple and it's such a convenience. Yeah. Um, and I like where the tail servo is mounted on the tail. So you don't have to readjust it. Yeah, the tail servo is mounted, it's locked onto the tail. So whenever you make any kind of adjustments to the belt, it mm -hmm. moves with the boom. Yeah. So you never have to do any adjustments to the tail rod. Nice. All right, so that's nice and that's great. Another great little feature. Um, the, uh, anything else? Yeah, it's pretty good. Landing gear is great. It's got a very narrow, really awesome canopy. I mean, it looks like, it's it, nice. to me, this is like the Ferrari of helicopters. It makes sense because Lucas from Italy. So it all makes sense to me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, seriously, it flies like a little Ferrari. Uh, that's the way I, I call it the little Ferrari all the time. You, Bill will, will confirm that. Um, landing gear is great. This white landing gear, it's nice and low. It's got a nice little profile. Another thing too about the newer designs in the helicopters is that, and this is nothing new, but if you look at the helicopter, it's kind of jacked up. Yeah. Years ago with the old style helicopters, I used to put uh, washers on the back, so I'd lift the back of the tail up. You don't mm -hmm. have to do that nowadays with the newer designs. It's just, I know, they're all like that now, but it's just something really cool I like. Uh, I started flying helis back like in 1989 or something. So, wow. So, uh, yeah, they've come a long way. Um, the real, another cool thing about the Lynx is that there is no collar, a locking collar, on the top of the main shaft here below the swash plate. So typically what you do on most designs, you, once you install the main shaft in there, you pull up and then you, and then you, pull, you pull up on the, on the main shaft and you push down on that collar and you lock the main shaft in place right there. Luca designed it so you don't have to do that. There's no collar. The locking mechanism is actually underneath. Really cool design. Mm -hmm. It's really neat. Um, great. That's a nice little feature. Pretty sweet, dude. 
I love it. Awesome. Right, no you complaints. You do love that Howie. I, I love swear. this thing. It's like I, I was shocked how much you love that. Like I knew you like it, but you really love that Howie. That's great. Uh, <laughs> another thing cool too is that Luca gives you different different dampeners. Yeah. Hard and soft, and he's got and there's and inside the manual it lists the the, the, the pro pilots that are flying and what they're flying. Like HSH is hard, soft, mm -hmm. hard. HHH is hard, hard, hard. Mm -hmm. You know, soft, soft. Whatever you want to do, and you can you can vary. And that's nothing out of the ordinary, but it's just cool because you can you can vary the the uh, the dampener the dampening that you got in the in the in the, uh, in the head. Nice, dude. To suit your flying style. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, another cool feature is that the it's really awesome. Another little genius maneuver. Okay, it's not rocket science, but the anti-rotation bracket is open at the top. Yeah. So now when you're doing work on the heli, it's easy to take it off. You can pull the swash plate and the whole head right off in a second. You don't have to mess with the stupid anti-rotation bracket like you used to have to do. Mm -hmm. um, so that's cool. Um, you've got, you know, the it's it's the the uh, servos up top. The servos up top here, they're they're mounted uh, in this configuration where you don't have any 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 push rods or or uh, your push pull like you used to have years ago so it's a very it's very nice and easy to set up and especially if you have uh, crashes or anything like that you don't have to mess with with uh, push rods and all, all that linkage and everything and all those parts yeah. and all the weight and everything so mm -hmm. again that's nothing new but that's just it's a cool it's a, it's a nice. great straightforward design um, the motor I'm running an X Nova this is a 1120 all right this is a uh, Nothing fancy. It's got a five millimeter shaft. The pinion I'm using has got a, it's got a five millimeter adapter in there. So you don't need anything crazy to fly this thing. Um, this actually was going to be for another heli that I was going to buy years ago, but then uh, found out that, that Luca was coming out with the Oxy Five, so I just kept it for that, mm -hmm. uh, and it's, it's it's working great. And strong uh, tail control too. Oh uh, yeah, the tail. I mean, I can go full yeah, bore yeah. on those hurricanes and re, you know, in reverse inverted flight, and the tail never blows out yeah. or anything. I mean, it's, it's good tail. That's already. part of that's the servo too. But, yeah. But it, it, you know, I like the nice short tail too. Mm -hmm. like you have a short tail. It doesn't, it, you know, the speed it's going to go. Yeah, it's going to be yeah. a little bit faster, in my opinion, than, than get to get around. Mm -hmm. Less linear distance, right? Because it's shorter than you would have like on a longer boom. Um, so pyros are a little bit faster. In my opinion, I'm not an engineer, but I think that's the case. Um, the uh, it's just a nice little stocky heli. I love it. I love, love it. It flies like a little Ferrari. Like you I love said. it. So, All right. So go, Luca. Keep out coming. I'm waiting for the 700 to come out. <laughs> and um, so is Bill. We're all waiting. <laughs> We're all waiting. For all right. See you later.